Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about num part number two of our email marketing series, which is how to set up and implement what we talked about in the last video. So if you haven't already seen part one, go ahead and check uh, the description. I'll probably leave a link to go ahead and see part one because you're definitely gonna wanna check that out before you watch this one. So if you haven't already, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're dropping value every single day and leave a like on the video and let's go ahead and get started. So in order to uh, actually go ahead and implement this method that I'm talking about, you basically need two apps um, at a bare minimum. And uh, there's a few different options for things that you can use. I'm just gonna go over the ones that I like and that work for me. Um, but the first one is some sort of email capture system. Uh, you need a way to actually capture emails. So I use this one called Spinasale which is really cool. You guys have probably seen it before on, on some shops, but I'm just gonna pull it up real quick so you can see. Um, let's see if it pops up. There you go. Okay, so um, it's cool because it has this little this little wheel spin and people can enter their name and email and have a chance to win a certain coupon, which you know is cool for you because um, people love to play games, right? That's why they love the carnival. They love like, you know, playing games. So you have a much higher chance of being able to actually capture emails with this as opposed to something like Privy, which I have used in the past and works fine, but it just doesn't have as good of a conversion rate in, in my opinion. So uh, the first thing is spin a sale that you're, that you're gonna wanna get or uh, something comparable. And number two is MailChimp. So I've used a bunch of different uh, autoresponders in the past. I've used GetResponse, Aweber, um, Klaviyo, which I actually really like Klaviyo but it's a little expensive for, for what I need. Um, I don't use the full features of it. So um, MailChimp is actually the one that I like uh, for cost and just ease of use. <clears throat> so um, the cool thing is it's free up to 2000 emails or 2000 subscribers and 12,000 emails a month. So, I mean, if you're a beginner, you're, you're probably not gonna be reaching that. Hopefully you do, that would be sick if you did, but um, you know, it's free. So. Uh, up to that certain point. So that's why I like it. Basically just go ahead and install both of those and set them up with your store. It's pretty basic stuff, pretty self-explanatory. Don't think I need to go over that. Um, so once you have MailChimp installed and ready to go, uh, go ahead and log into the website and you'll get something like this. So I just made a test account for, for a test store, um, but obviously use your own store. Um, so this is what it's gonna look like. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to list and we're gonna to have to make different lists for those different types of customers that we have. So if you remember from part number one, we talked about the three types of email marketing. There's abandoned cart, there's uh, newsletter subscribers, and there's customer list. And then, you know, different subsets of those. So um, as you can see, I set up different lists for those three different things. And how I did that, if you're wondering, I just hit create list, hit create list again, and uh, you're just gonna name it. So like, we'll name it abandoned cart um, and default from email address. This is obviously your company email address. From name, you could either use your company name or your name. Um, I usually just use the company name. Um, here, you're basically just gonna copy and paste this thing. Um, I don't know why, but that, and, uh, and go ahead and hit save. I already have them all, so I'm gonna hit cancel. Um, but that's how you go ahead and create the list for it. Um, so now that we have the list, we're gonna go and create our first campaign. And the campaign is what you use to actually start sending emails. Um, and there's different kind of campaigns, I'll talk about that in just a minute. But uh, we're gonna hit create campaign up there, hit create email, because that's what we're trying to do. And we're gonna do automated emails, because we're gonna set up the abandoned cart emails first. So um, actually, you know, you guys have probably heard of different abandoned carts like Cart Recovery Plus or something like that. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones out there on the Shopify app store. Uh, you could totally go for those if you want to. I just like keeping things easy and, and letting MailChimp does it, do it because they do it anyways, so why not? Um, so anyways, go ahead and click email uh, automated, go to e-commerce and we're gonna do recover abandoned carts because that's what we're doing. And we're gonna do, make sure you hit email series here instead of single, single email because we're gonna send a series of emails, four emails, remember? Um, campaign, we'll just name it abandoned cart. And obviously pick your store, uh, we'll hit begin, and here you go. So uh, this is one email, two, three, and I usually add a fourth one, so I'll just uh, do that. So this is our basically our series. Um, so let's see how they have it set up. Okay, so this one is supposed to go an hour after, a day after, three days after, and a day after. Okay, so we're gonna wanna switch this. So, I'm, so um, 
Like I said, I usually like to do four hours. You're probably gonna wanna test it out, but let's go ahead and hit edit trigger. We'll just change this one to four, um, update. And we'll change this one to a day. Okay, is that a day? Uh, this one is at three days. I usually like to make this one two days. So we'll do that. And the last one will make three days. Boom. Okay, cool. So now these are set up exactly how we want it to do. And if you watched the first video, you'd remember the kind of the strategy that we're going through in terms of setting up these emails. So I'm not gonna go too crazy into that because I talked about it before and I feel like you guys will get bored with that. Um, but uh, I do have templates that you could use. Um, they're available in one of the links in the description below if you so desire to get those um, to sort of kickstart your abandoned carts and, and other email series. But essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit design email and that's gonna allow us to actually design it. So the name for your email, um, this this is only the name that you see, so just name it something easy. So I'll say like uh, abandoned cart one is usually how I do it. You can do it however you want. And subject, uh, you could say we saved your cart for you. You could say like, did you forget something? Um, basically whatever you want. Uh, what I highly recommend doing is finding competitors in your niche and subscribing to their email list and seeing like what kind of emails they're sending, their headlines, their content, what kind of discounts they're doing, how they're setting it up. That's how I learned a lot of the stuff that, that I currently use. Um, so did you forget about something? Preview text, not really necessary. From, company name, obviously, company email. Uh, okay, that's all good. So we're going to hit next. And... Uh, there's three different types of abandoned cart. Just pick one that works for you. I usually like to pick one of these two just because it shows the actual products that are, that are being you know, left behind. So let's just pick this one. Um, and there you go. So it's a pretty easy template to, to be able to do uh, or to be able to edit. So you, know, you have your button here that you can edit. Uh, this links to the abandoned cart page automatically or you can link to um, you know, other things, web address, whatever you want to link it to. I just keep it on a band cart page. These will automatically um, fill in the products that they have abandoned, which is cool. Um, you know, obviously you can throw in a logo here. You can change the font. Usually I like to just, um, you know, you can just keep it simple. It's not nothing too crazy. Just reminding them that they, uh, you know, abandoned something in their cart. So once you have that done, uh, hit save and continue. And boom, our first email, AC underscore one, is set to go. So then you would just have to go through and do it for the other uh, three of them. Okay, and I would go ahead and, and you know switch these up and stuff. And uh, like I said in the first video, follow that strategy, um, and you should be good. So that is our abandoned cart. We are going to let's see, save and exit. Let's go to campaigns. Um, what's the deal here? Okay, um, so it's making me, okay, so I have to do those, but that's fine. I can, I can just exit out um, without saving because it's not, I'm not using these, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so now we have our, our abandoned cart campaign. Next thing we're going to do is create another campaign, create an email and automated. Go to e-commerce and thank you first time customers. We'll make one like that and we'll also make one that is, uh, let's see. Welcome to new subscribers. So if you click on this, um, it would basically just the onboarding series and it would be the exact same process that we just went through. Um, super simple stuff. Like I said, watch the first video for the whole strategy on, on exactly what we're doing. Or if you'd like, you can check out the templates that I've linked below. But guys, basically that's it when it comes to email marketing. Pretty simple, pretty easy stuff. Uh, nothing too complicated or anything. So. If you like this video, if you got any value, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit the like, let me know that you like it and want me to continue producing these videos for you guys. Um, this kind of concludes the series of email marketing. If you guys have any ideas for other things that you wanna learn that uh, maybe you're confused about, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Let me know so I can make a video about it to help you guys out. Um, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys later. I need you in the morning, oh, oh, yeah, I need you in the morning. Why